Hey guys, so I just got home. I got a notification on my phone on social media uh, that Vans Aircraft had just posted an update. The RV15 has been revealed. So let's go in and get into it. So I of course ran to vansaircraft.com to check out the website to see if there's anything posted there. And flipping through the different pages, I can't find anything posted there. Earlier in the day, somebody had shared uh, Vans Aircraft posting something embedded deep into their website, an absolute tease of the RV15. The RV15 is coming, uh, but no pictures and photos. But just minutes ago, they released on YouTube this video. So let's stop this right here for just a second. Earlier in the day, somebody had leaked a snapshot from their phone camera, this very departure, this very first takeoff, I guess. And obviously it was a still. And we're trying to, there's a couple different angles. We're trying to figure out the scale of this aircraft, just to see the sheer size of it. And there was another photo parked, uh, having the aircraft parked next to an airport sign, a runway sign. And it looked from that angle like it was actually going to be a smaller aircraft, like maybe something like an RV-12 light sport type situation. And we were guessing that maybe, just maybe this is going to be powered by like a Rotax uh, 912 based on the angle, camera angles looking like this could be a smaller aircraft. Obviously, by the sound of this, this does not sound anything like a Rotax. So more than likely, this is gonna be a light combing, typical light combing that uh, Vans aircraft has done. Who knows if it's gonna be the 160, 180 horsepower or bigger, but definitely bigger than a Rotax. All right, so let's jump into the styling of this. At first glance, you would think that this is a Murphy of some kind uh, construction and or a, a, a Cessna Reborn it has very similar lines to either one of those aircraft. Uh, very big tail, um, looks like something maybe off of their RV-14, RV-10. I'm very surprised that this is not, in fact, a cantilevered wing, like all their low-wing aircraft is, and attached with a wing strut. Big surprise for that. All right, let's rewind this just for a second here, back up just a few seconds. What is that in the middle of the ceiling of this aircraft? It appears to be a manually operated flap handle. Big score for you, Vans Aircraft, right there. This is gonna make it into production with a manually actuated flap handle, a flap control. That's exactly what everybody loves to have in the back country and flying these bush planes. I am surprised and at the same time very excited to see this installed in this aircraft. All right, so what else can we see from this camera angle? It appears that Vans is stuck with their traditional push-pull tubes as opposed to any type of pulley and wire system for the, the controls in the wings by this little bell crank here found in the corner, upper corner of the cockpit. Now the next big thing that really stands out to me in this picture here, the shot, is this kind of makeshift handle that's zip tied to the side of the cockpit. And the only thing I can think of, and you guys comment below on what your thoughts are, is maybe this is part of a ballistic chute system that they're still kind of figuring out the placement of it and, and so forth. What else could a handle like that, a grab handle like that be for? So next, you're looking behind the test pilot here, again, going back to the first couple leaked photos and trying to scale this aircraft, I was thinking, we were thinking that it was a much smaller airplane and only a two-seater. But now looking at this camera angle, and it's a difficult angle to kind of pull this from, but it looks like there's quite a bit of space between the back seat of the test pilot and the far back bulkhead where you see the experimental there. So now I'm wondering truly, is this a two-seater or is there actually enough room back there for two more seats making this a four-seater? 
So obviously this is the door release, right? You have the yellow handle and pull back to open. But why is it on the top? Which begs the question, how do these doors open? Do they drop down straight like a reverse gull wing? Or does it swing out to the rear aft of the aircraft? That's kind of an odd placement for a door handle. Now here's the entire video as released from Vans aircraft. Well, I guess we have to wait to Oshkosh to walk around this and poke around it ourselves. Two weeks away from the biggest air show in the United States, EAA AirVenture Oshkosh 2022. We are partnering with great companies like Dynon Avionics at Dynon.com, AirTech Coatings at AirTechCoatings.com, Aviation Youth Magazine at AviationUSA.com. The Aviators Clinic at aviatorsclinic.com. Take a moment to go visit their websites at the links found below in the description of this video. And visit our website at experimentalaircraftchannel.com for events, our video library arranged in easy to find playlists on specific topics, affiliate products, aviation merchandise, and so much more.